Guys, uh, today I will show you how to recreate the Mutronix Mutator uh, uh, double filter effect thing and it will something something like this This is dry and I activate it Yeah, pretty cool effect. So the first thing that we will uh, have to do is create a combinator. Um, we need some sound. Should put the sound there. And then we create a pulverizer. Duplicate the pulverizer. Create a Thor. Create a. Uh, CV splitter and then we reset everything reset device, reset device, reset device and this is quite a complicated uh, effect, it took a while for me to figure it out uh, so the first thing we will do is take the left there and put it there and take the right signal and put it there and then we take it the right one and put it there and the left one and put it there and then we will take the tremor and put it here and then we want one signal there and one signal there and then oh it's so many chaos okay and then you take cv2 and put it here and cv3 and then you take CV output 2 and put it over here at filter frequency and CV output 1 and put it here at filter frequency. So now we have set up all the cables that we're going to need and now we have to set up some things in the um, before we start, we need to set up some things here in the combinator. So I will name, name this one left, this one right. You can name those Thor, that's okay. So on the left one, we want to control the dry and wet easily. So we put uh, this one so we can control the dry and wet. We do the same here. Uh, master blend. So now we can control these. We can try dry wet, and then in the Thor, we need to set up um, rotary one. It's supposed to affect. Uh, where do you? Rotary 1, effect rotary 1 in the Thor, and rotary 2, effects rotary 2 in the Thor. Uh, and then, um, let's see here, button 1, we want this one to affect mod 1 destination amount. We need to reverse this, take minus 100. Uh, and then we also have to take bottom two to affect bottom two in the uh, in the Thor. So this one we will name right LFO mount. This one left LFO amount. So now we go down here to the door and we bypass, turn those off. So now we take the CV3 in, put it here, minus destination CV3 out. And here we take the CV input 2 max 100% to CV output 2. Here, we take CV in 1 
uh, and we will take put, put it here at CV out one. And then we max this out, max this out, and because like when I built this, I want it to be as flexible as possible. So let's copy what I'm doing. Um, it was a while ago since I made this, so I don't remember every, everything. But th this function basically is so you can invert the LFO for the different kinds of filter. And, you, and it gets it sounds cooler too. And that, that's also what you could do on the original mutator. mutator. And I think that is it. Yes, we also we will also name this one invert left, and this one is sync LFO. Okay, so let's listen to it. Okay. See, can we get some? So, when you use it in sync LFO mode, you control the LFO with with the rate here, and in this one it inverts the LFO for the your left channel. So now they're, they're, they're in the same sync, but here I inverted. You, you can use different kinds of filter and stuff. Dry wet also work. And if you want if you do not want to use it in sync LFO mode, you turn these off and now this doesn't function. So now they are each a separate pair of filters. So then you have to use it just like the regular pulverizer. You have the rate here. So I will set them in different kind of rate. And then you have to pull this one. You can get pretty like psychedelic effects with it, so yeah, it's a you can just explore and like if you find out the way to maybe make it even more useful, just post a comment and uh, yeah, I like I hope uh, subscribe and uh, like and comment and uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, I like this thing. personally. I prefer the sync LFO mode but yeah it's up to each one to use it however they want thank you for watching and bye